Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's time to get real. Are you ready? It's been a couple days, you guys. I've missed you. I have been working diligently on getting this challenge out to you, and it is a little more involved on the technical end than I originally had planned for. So I took some time to work on this to get it to you. There are still there have already been a couple glitches, just a couple things. Uh, I guess the PayPal work the PayPal link wasn't working. I think I've fixed that. So. If you continue to have issues with that, email me and reallifedawn at gmail.com and I will I will help you. Um, I, I think that was the only glitch so far. So if you guys notice anything else, please let me know. Okay, because I am I'm relatively new at the organization, uh, like kind of like the back end of these kind of challenges. I've always been very good at the creative aspect of it, but um, learn a new thing. So uh, I'm very thankful for that and very excited, uh, but we'll just have, it's a, it's a, there's a learning curve. So uh, let me know if you guys encounter any problems and I will get on it to fix it right away. Cause I want, I want you guys all in this challenge. I know there's been so many, so much interest um, and we're going to do it. So I read this quote in the book. Oh, you guys, I finished another book. Guess what? If you do things every day, little, little bits, like, remember I break things down. I had to read about, I think six or seven pages a day in order to finish this book. I did that. It seems so much easier to think about six or seven pages than reading an entire book for me anyway. Same thing with losing weight. It seems so much, it was so much easier for me when I was losing my 80 pounds to think I had to lose one pound 80 times as opposed to 80 pounds I had to lose. And gosh, how long was that going to take? So I like focusing on the small steps. What I read in one of my, my, in the journal, uh, that I use every day, which is one of our 10 success habits, this quote by Gretchen Rubin, she says, what we do every day matters more than what we do once in a while. So what we do every day matters more than what we do once in a while. Do you know how true that is? Do you have any idea how true that is? Little things matter. Little things equal achieving your one big thing. And so um, I just read a little bit every day and I finished it. I write a little bit in my journal every day and it turns into this, my own personal reflection that I have and will have forever. It, like at the end of this year, I'm excited to see how much I've, you know, grown, which is another quote I wanted to re read to you. It says, when you lift the limits of your thinking, you expand the limits of your life. It's only when you can imagine a bigger life that you can ever hope to have one. So that's my question to you today. It's been a while since we visited the, the foundation of what real life means. Creating the most fulfilling, purposeful, um, exciting, fulfilling relationships, eating and exercise, achieving success and loving yourself that you can imagine. So what are you doing every day to accomplish that? Where is your thinking? Have you started to expand the limits of your mind? Whatever limits you place on yourself, that's exactly what you're going to achieve. So if you continuously tell yourself, I can't lose weight, I can't save money, I can't, um, you know, make friends. I can't uh, get a better job. For me, it was always, I can't start a business. That was always my big one. When you lift the limits of that, you guys, there is no stopping you. There is no stopping you, but that happens a little at a time. That does not take one grand effort. It takes multiple tiny efforts daily, sometimes weekly, you know, monthly, hourly, minutely, if that's a word, 
So that is why you need to do the challenge so that you can get into the habit of doing, taking these little steps every single day. And again, it's not going to focus on eating necessarily, more on everything that you need to do in order to grow personally, to expand the limits of your mind, all right, to create this new and powerful mindset that is going to gift you anything and everything you want. And so I was talking to my friend Vicki last night and it it was it was just such a, a realization. I was saying to her, you know, since I've been working on this personal growth, I've had to spend a lot more time doing that. There are only, there really are only so many hours in the day. And so I've had to give up some of the time I spent on my my physical fitness. I would exercise like hours a day, two hours a day, sometimes two and a half hours a day. And it was a little one-sided. Uh, my personal growth always connected to physical fitness, just how my body looked and um, how I felt. I mean, it was it was a deeper connection than how I looked, but that's where I would spend all of my personal growth time. And I've had to give some of that up. And it's stressing me out a little bit because I'm afraid of, you know, not to sound like, you know, a gym rat, but losing all the gains I've made. And she's like, Dawn, you're in great shape. So you lose 5%, let's just say 5% of your muscle in order to gain in the other areas of your life. And I thought, you know what? That's true. She's like, you have, she's like, you have it to give. There was an abundance of physicality, if you will, and not nearly enough of the mentality or the spirituality. And so I kind of feel like I've expanded the limits of that thinking into realizing that there is more to work on than just what we eat and how much we exercise. And so I am incorporating all of those things for you and asking you to stick with me for 21 days, 21 days. Although it's gonna take you longer than that. I mean, this is hopefully a springboard for the rest of your life. This is not something that you're gonna do for 21 days and move on. This is something we're gonna do together for 21 days and then build on. You guys, I have plans for us. I have plans that we're going to take this first challenge and then we're moving on to the next step because I am tired of doing the same thing over and over. Are you not? Are you not tired of doing the same thing over and over? And so let's, let's do it together. Okay. So your action step for today is just to click the link in this video uh, and check it out. See if it's something you might be interested in. And let me know if that's uh, if you have any questions or comments um, and then to share, 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 share this with one person. OK, um, since I put this out there last night, I've had I think I have five or six more YouTube subscribers. I am going to be YouTube famous. I am expanding the limits of my thinking and I am going to just everybody will just listen and we're all going to be great together. I just know it. Um, and I've got some more followers and I've had emails and this is just little steps. And I cannot tell you how appreciative I am of all the support out there and uh, the willingness to look at things differently and to invest the time, energy and um, work into getting the output and outcome and uh, changing things, changing for good, not just changing for now. Okay. So join the challenge. It is 21 days, 10 success habits. We'll do it together. I'll hold you accountable, which is really what this is all about. You just need somebody to tell you to keep doing it, which I'm good at bossing people around. So I will definitely tell you what to do and how to do it and um, have fun doing it. And so um, just a quick reminder, challenge is going to include the uh, goal setting sheet and figuring out your why. And once you join the challenge, I am sending you, once you join and pay, I'm sending you everything, like five or six 
PDFs that you're going to download and print and start like looking at and absorbing right now. Something that you're going so that you can kind of just the, the challenge starts Monday, less than a week. I'm I'm so excited. I'll add you to the private Facebook group and we can start talking right now. OK, we can start um, brainstorming ideas if you need help. Um, you know, whatever we can start right now. Why even wait till the challenge will officially start on Monday, but we, we can start um, gathering our thoughts and being super prepared and ready to go hit the ground running. OK, so oh, my mom just said hi. Hi, mom. Um, so you're going to get that goal setting sheet and then. I'm thinking this weekend, probably Sunday, the day before the challenge, I'm gonna go live in our private Facebook group for all the people that have joined the challenge and we're gonna figure out our why together. I'm gonna to show you how to do that so that that can be your focus, not just for this challenge, but for your life, all right? And every time a challenge comes up or a, or a, a temptation comes up, you can go, nope, not worth it because I want this more more than I want. I want this more than, than what I want at the moment kind of deal. Okay. Um, you're going to get the 10 success habits sheet that we've talked about. I've kind of already thrown those out there for you because it's not about, it's not a secret. It's not about knowing it's about doing, and we just all need help doing. And so that's why these challenges work. Um, you're going to get your habit tracker, just check marks so that we can accumulate that, um, accountability or that, um, you can see in front of you that black and white proof that you're doing what you need to do, which is always exciting. You'll get an affirmation sheet. You'll get, um, so those are just affirmations that if you don't have your own or if you're struggling to come up with, I don't even know what an affirmation is or where to start. I'm going to just give that to you and you can pick one and read it every day to yourself less than a minute. They work. You guys, they work. Um, a suggested reading list. So just if you're struggling with what books that you want to read for this challenge, um, I would really recommend the Miracle Morning or this one, the one thing. I, I like the one thing better, but the Miracle Morning, I think kind of explains everything we're doing um, in better or even more detail. So those would be one of the ones I recommend, but I'll give you this reading list. Um, you want it sooner rather than later. That's why it's important to sign up sooner rather than later so you can check it over and be sure you get your book um, that you're going to read. You'll get that access to the private Facebook group, the fi private Facebook event, and then, you know, accountability check-ins for me. Like, And I need accountability check-ins from you guys too. So, um, And then bonus, if you finish the challenge, you're entered in to win a $25 Amazon gift card. So um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Your goal today is just to check it out, see if it's something that, or your action step, just to check it out, see if it's something that you're interested in and message me or email me with any questions. And if you don't have questions, if you're just ready to go, sign up, okay? Um, thanks for listening. I've missed you guys. I've missed you, I've missed you, I've missed you. I will be back at you tomorrow kind of with our regularly scheduled program. I'll mention the challenge here and there, but I think we're gonna be talking about self-confidence tomorrow. Um, and so gaining self-confidence and um, diminishing self-doubt. So I'm excited for that. Thanks for listening. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Peace.